you ever tried to lose weight? Work towards winning a grand final? Or reduce the amount of impact you have on the earth? All of these involve you managing yourself to achieve an outcome. You have to set goals, take responsibility for your actions, and review, then possibly re-evaluate your progress. You may ask yourself, why is self-management so important? Well, it's an important life skill, but it also gives you the chance to have satisfaction, growth, and success in your work. In fact, self-management involves several steps, but the first must be deciding on the goals you want to achieve in life or work. Once you've set your goals, you then need to maintain and manage them. You can do this by organizing priorities, taking responsibility for your success, believing in yourself, and reflecting and re-evaluating. So the first step is to set yourself some goals. To get to the outcome you might want of losing weight, your short-term goal might be to lose a couple of kilos in two months. And your long-term goal would be to keep it off and live a healthier lifestyle. Just by turning up to class on time, for example, may be a very good indicator of their capacity to self-manage. If they've had to navigate public transport to, to get to their courses, or they've had to organise their, um, their schedule, complete assignments or get work done, that in fact, that is a good indication of their ability to self-manage. And in the workplace, that's actually something that's highly valuable and sought after. Once you've set your goals, you need to organise priorities. In order to meet your goals and cope every day at work, it helps to set priorities. There will always be a series of things you must do in any job. You can manage priorities by deciding what is most important and must be done first, and then what can be done after that. The purpose of organising priorities can be as simple as saving time or keeping yourself on track. Here are some tips for organising priorities for daily tasks. List the tasks that have to be completed. Use dot points. Consider which tasks must be done today and which tasks can wait till another time. Give a suggested timeline. For example, by tomorrow or by next week. Number today's tasks in order of importance. Cross off each task as you do it. You can organise your priorities for goals too. Divide your goals into short and long term. List them in the order you would like to achieve them. Give a suggested timeline. Set a time when you can review them. Re-evaluate and change your goals if they alter. There'll be times at work that you'll be asked to do something dangerous or difficult, like handle a hazardous piece of machinery or use a complicated computer program. Your employer will want to feel confident that you understand how to do it. You need to take responsibility by asking the right questions and being assertive in the way you are being shown. Don't be afraid to speak up or worry that your questions aren't valid. A big part of self-management is believing in yourself. It means having a go and being confident to speak up, to share your ideas and vision. Think of some of the athletes who excel at events like the Paralympics. They show amazing self-discipline, sheer belief and determination to be successful. If you want to be useful to your employer and company, Show you are confident and want to be involved. Put your hand up. When you get the chance, take every opportunity to share your knowledge, ideas and visions. Make sure to prepare for meetings by using notes or a diary. Find moments to chat informally to your boss and workmates about your ideas and be clear and concise. Get to the point quickly. And if possible, give an example. Because things change, 
and because what you first thought was an important goal to achieve may change, you have to be prepared to reflect on what you are doing and perhaps aim for another outcome. A great way to reflect and reevaluate is to keep a journal or logbook. This way, you're constantly monitoring what you're doing at work. Comment on the things you did well and the things you would do differently next time. If writing isn't for you, then find someone you trust to talk to. By using this type of reflection, you're ensuring how to get the best out of yourself. When it comes to self-management, when we're talking about your career, etc., um, that's a process of being able to set goals and vision, like see myself in the future and to believe in something other than what's happening right now. So um, self-management goes beyond just the simple daily day stuff. But sometimes things don't go smoothly. No matter how well you follow all these steps, there will be times when people or events will make your self-management plan difficult to follow. When this happens, Try re-evaluating and reorganizing your goals and priorities and try to reduce any stress caused by the situation. Try asking for advice or try a different approach. Above all though, you should stay positive.